We're in Backup Exec 2012. I'm going to show you how to do a backup and then backup to archive. So from here in the Backup Exec 2012 manager, we're going to make sure we're on the Backup and Restore tab. We'll click Backup. We'll choose Backup to Disk and then Archive. And we see the name of our server on the left. We see the location where our normal backup goes at this point. We can certainly edit the selections on the left by checking or unchecking certain boxes from our source server to our, lo our uh, location which is the any disk storage and how long you want to keep it for you can go in and edit that as well just like any other backup but this adds one additional feature and that is the archive so if we click edit and we see the schedule so we can choose to do that uh, ev right now it's set to go every Saturday you can go to notification, you can check the box to say it goes to our email recipient which we created earlier. You can also manage those recipient, recipients, add a new recipient if you want, right from there. File system selections. From here you can go ahead and choose any one of the folders in the list and you can choose the default default folder archive settings so these are data these are file shares you can also archive exchange mailbox archives as well so if you want to create a new archive you just click that button type in the name that you want we'll do the default retention category although you can go in and create a new one and by default it's set to infinite or you could change that for years, days, months, that kind of thing. Now from here we'll go to storage and settings. So we're going to go ahead and say the uh, vault store name, which we don't have a vault at this time, so we'll go ahead and create a new one. And we'll just give it the default. And we'll uh, choose a path here. Next and after the vault store is backed up and the next archive stage runs that's when uh, the data should be deleted from its original location you can also just change it to immediately after the icon, art, uh, item is archived as well and then we choose finish okay now that that's finished you can go ahead and choose your vault so now we have our file system selections which uh, in this case is one of our shares in our server and we have our storage location so archives can either be file shares or exchange mailbox archives so when you're done just go ahead and click OK and now we're going to do a regular backup and then we're also going to archive some of the uh, file shares and when you're done just go ahead and click OK